Test mode operation starts by selecting a device, as shown in the prior video. You must also select the task operational mode. Both exchange and task mode set the operational mode from the bottom left portion of the screen. Master simulation, line monitor, or R2 simulation. Tasks adapt to the operational mode selected. This video discusses master simulation mode. In the prior video, we created a DNP3 LAN WAN device, selected above. The task groups shown are therefore specific to DNP3 protocol. If another protocol were selected, the groupings would change. For example, these are the IEC 6870-5-101 groups and these are for Conatel 2020. But for now, we will deal with DNP3 LAN WAN protocol. There are very few setup options. One is to enter the IP address of the outstation device. For DNP3 serial protocol, this area is replaced with serial port selection options. Other settings can be entered from Tools, Properties, and DNP3 LAN WAN. For example, this device works only with messages sent from source address 100. Now just select the task group and the task. You can send it once by selecting the once target or continuously by selecting the start target. Here a basic sequence consisting of link status and reset link messages is set once to verify the device is correctly connected. Next we select the Acquire Static Data Task Group and the Class 1230 request. To send it periodically, first check the repetition frequency in the Properties area. The default is 2 seconds. Select the Start button. For data acquisition tasks, the Point Values view is updated as new points or new point values are detected. For control tasks, point index and control values are entered from the properties area. Repetitive controls can be configured to modify these settings for every command. Here the task is modified to control points 0 through 7 and to use both trip and close commands to each. Control tasks require user confirmation. When run running, parameters for the next control to be issued are automatically updated. The ASC 2000 also supports all file operations including read and write. The complete integrated file transfer sequence is available in task mode only. In the next video, we talk about R2 simulation in task mode.